Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you all are doing good. I am Saman here, your grammar teacher with a new topic consonant clusters. In this video, I am going to tell you about what is a consonant cluster, what are positions of clusters and what are examples of clusters. So let's start with it. So okay, before uh, starting this consonant cluster, you should know that what are consonants. We already know that we have divided the alphabets into two types, consonants and vowels. Vowels are the um, alphabets with which we use an A, E, I, O, U are vowels and when we uh, make a word with these alphabets we use AND with them and consonants are all the other alphabets other than vowels they are called consonants okay like B, C, D, F, G, H these all are consonants and with consonants we use A. Okay, consonant clusters are also called consonant compounds or consonant blends. Now, what is the definition of consonant clusters? Some words begin with groups of consonants with no vowels between them. So, this is a simple definition that whenever you are having a two consonants without any vowel between them, two or three consonants or even four consonants and there is no vowel between them, then that is called, then that makes consonant clusters. Cluster itself means a group of or a bunch of. For example, Example, here you can see the example three here I am having two consonant cluster uh, one uh, one more important thing you should keep this uh, this thing in your mind that consonant all the consonants they give the separate sound blend doesn't mean that they will if uh, they will give one sound they will make separate sound like in three we are having three three okay there are two consonant clusters then next word App, scrap there are three consonant clusters s c and r and you can see that they are coming at the start of a word so they are called initial consonant clusters then in the next two words we are having consonant clusters at the end of a word so here uh, it is final consonant clusters like here we are having looks l u k s looks then uh, then uh, the last word is helped now here you can see that we are having three consonant clusters how l p t l helped now here ed gives the sound of t okay we don't use uh, uh, we don't pronounce a separate sound of e and d it always gives the sound of t that's why we consider it as one sound of t and then now we can have uh, we can say that there are three consonant cl clusters helped okay now listen to me again you will uh, notice that all the consonant clusters they are giving a separate sound and the sound is very clear tree scrap looks helped okay okay now let's see uh, okay what is the uh, what is phonotactics in english in phonotactics is basically the it gives the set of rules with which we can uh, make any uh, consonant clusters and it uh, and it has said the rule that at initial position we can have max of three consonant clusters and at final position we can have four consonant clusters okay it cannot be uh, more than four and at initial position it cannot be more than three okay four will be wrong so it has uh, phonotactics uh, it has made the rule that there are three max uh, max constant clusters at initial position and four max constant clusters at final position okay let's start with initial clusters initial clusters are also called onset clusters now here we are having a blend of uh, clusters you can see that first we are we are going to have a sound of uh, s and the sound of s is s okay then we are having consonant after s sound we are having consonant look at the first word s k I sky st a stay sm all small s l o slow sphere. Now here ph always give the sound of f. Okay, s the sound of s is and the sound of ph is f. Okay, it gives the sound of f. So here we are having sphere s n ak snack. Okay, let's see the other examples. Now I'm going to tell you about the consonant blend of BL. First, we are having a consonant, okay, and then we are having l, bl the blend of L, okay, l. the sound of uh, L is L. B, L, 
u blue b l ok block b l ak black b l ain't blind then same goes with all the words okay just listen to me i'm going to i'm not going to break down first uh, you know that the sound of b is b and the sound of l is l okay blue and you can notice that all the words uh, will have a separate sound of consonants b will give the separate sound l will give the separate sound blue block black blind bloom blur bless block bleed blunt blue blush blank blade and blank now in the next one we are having consonant um consonant blend of dr the sound of d is d and the sound of r is r r okay now we are having a separate sound of uh, d the sound of d is d and the sound of r is r r okay just wait a minute Okay, sorry for a minute. Okay, now uh, see this word. D r dress d r rag drag d r r i dry dragon dream drama drink draw drill drift drop drool drum drain and drank now here you can see here we have used consonant blends first we have used uh, the sound of s then we have used the sound of bl and then we have the sound of dr so that's how you can make the consonant clusters at initial position now come to final clusters final clusters are also called coda clusters and they come at the final position now look at the first one first is ask the sound of s and k uh, are different okay like the sound of s is also coming and k is also coming a sk ask l st last books text contacts attempts okay here we are having the sound the sound of x is ks okay text contacts attempts okay now here there are some more examples like ant the consonant cluster is n and t the last two words uh, come in consonant cluster ant shrimp front trunk blind plant jump pink scent hunt okay these are the final cluster sounds so i hope uh, the concept is clear to you that what are final initial clusters what are final clusters and how you can make use of them okay what is the difference between clusters and diagraphs clusters are made of two or more consonant sounds while a diagraph is a group of two consonant letters standing for a single sound this is what i was telling you that clusters it gives the separate sound both the consonants it gives the separate sound it does not blend and make one sound but in diagraphs are the words which gives one sound for example in the word ship here the sound the two letters of the diagraph sh together represent a single consonant sh the sound of sh, uh, sh is sh ip ship okay here we are having one sound the sound of s is and the sound of h is but when we combine them it becomes sh sh sound okay so this is the difference between clusters and diagraphs okay that's all for today uh, the message of the day is work hard dream big 
as the final papers are coming um, in all the schools so all the students are studying very hard because they have to achieve very um, good grades in their uh, class so this is that's why i have chosen this message for you that work hard and dream big and if you will dream big definitely you will work hard to achieve that dream and um, nothing can be uh nothing is impossible if you work hard if you work hard and uh, dream for a big thing if you want to become a doctor or you want to become a pilot or you want to become a soldier or you want to become an engineer anything then you have to de- uh, dream big and then you have to work for it just um making a dream and just uh, seeing a dream uh, it will give you nothing you have to work for it also so this is um, the message of the day work hard and best of luck for your papers okay allah hafiz